Hello, my lovely people. Welcome to God's Lost You channel, the home of news. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across this platform, you are highly welcome. Here we react to all forms of videos, local, international, especially what is happening in Nigeria. If you like what you are watching, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notification. Here, we do not preach hate speech, misleading information, or violent. We are only here to inform, educate, sanitize the members of the public, and we also use this opportunity to appreciate YouTube for this wonderful platform that we are using. Okay, my people, let's go straight to this video. After watching, it is very, very important for you to drop your opinion, your idea in the comment section so that people will, through your own idea, form their own opinion. Until I see you again in my next video, I am here. We are watching this together. Thank you. There are so many funny things happening in Nigeria today. Bianca Ojuku is busy with Tunubu in Asorok. While her home town is under lock and key, there is currently a seat at home in Anambra State. Now, the travels of her people, I don't know whether it is different from what she holds dear. What is so important about an appointment into Tunubu's government? A government that has not respected the Igbo people for, for once. You see the appointments, your urbanization. You see, according to reports, how he stole Peter Obi's mandate, an Igbo man. Everybody knew that it was the turn, according to the calculations, the turn of an Igbo man to become president, but yet he said, Imilokon, and he took the presidency away from Peter Obi. Now, the Igbos are fighting for a new system, Biafra. Yet, the wife of Biafra warlord is busy in Asorok. She is being sworn in by Tunubu. Is that not strange? Look at Philip F. Young. During the war, he was the one that handed over. Ojuku directed him to hand over. During the war, Ojuku flew out of the country. Have you heard about Philip F. Young's family getting involved in partisan politics? Which appointment do you think that's Philip F. Young's family has undertaken with any government. These are true Biafran heroes, people that respect the struggle. At least, if you are the wife of Ojuku, you should at least respect your people, knowing that the Emilokon group has a way of playing their politics. And this would be in a way to spite IPOB and their movement, the movement for Biafra agitation. This appointment, in a way, will spite the movement, whether it is written or written, whether they are accepting it or not, whether they want to agree that Tunubu is playing politics with the Biafra agitation. After so many uh, inputs in destroying the, the formation, the unity of the Igbo people, using some of his foot soldiers on social media, denigrating Pitobi, denigrating Igbo people, and making sure that the Igbo people become useless under his regime. Yet, a Bianca Ojuku, I don't know what she wants. I don't know what she lacks. She has held that position before, uh, a similar position. She was an ambassador. Then what is she looking for? Is it relevance? Is she looking for money? What is she looking for that she has not gotten? Are they not in support of the Biafra agitation? Are they not in support of the travails of their people? How long will you wine and dine with the supposed enemy, how long will you do so and put your people at risk? Now, when you are Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, are you going to sell Biafra to the world? Or are you going to, in the Federal Executive Council, talk about Biafra? You are a, a minister that has been appointed, though. You are not elected into any position. You are not a senator. You are an appointed minister they can hire and fire today, tomorrow. So what is the essence of your presence represents the Biafra people in a way, whether people like it or not. When they see Bianca Ojuku, they remember Ojuku and some of the things that happened during the war. People reflect on it when they see Bianca Ojuku, now that Ojuku is no more. Ojuku on his part, after handing over to Philip F. Young, came back and set up Abga and vied for presidency. He wanted to become president of Nigeria. All these things are fascinating. 
I, I look at it from different angles. That is why Biafra is bigger than anybody. Nobody would hold Biafra to ransom. Biafra is bigger than anybody. It's a spirit. When somebody stop, another person will take over from that place. Okay, after Ojuku, people thought that Biafra is long gone until Uwazirike stepped in. After Uwazirike and the Masop, they thought that, yes, bye-bye to Biafra. Now you saw Mazin Namdekanu. From Mazin Namdekanu, we had an IPOB, Independent People of Biafra, an organization, a group that has built itself so strong that it cannot be uprooted in the next hundred years. People are identifying with that group, even though they're not members of the group. Egos all over the world are identifying with the nomenclature of that group. When people thought that Biafra had gone, now we have a Samonekpa who, with his own style, is expressing himself. So, hundreds of Bianco Juku, you are only just spitting on the legacy of Ojuku, which most of us asked that question. The reason why we didn't want to key in into the Biafra agitation were the questions we are asking. And if you are on the comment section, please, can you answer this question? Ojuku fought the uh, Biafra Nigeria Civil War, handed over to Efion, traveled, went on asylum, he came back, he formed Abga, a political party. He came out as president. What was his intention? Was Biafra not on his mind when he was forming Abga and creating a political party to become the president? What was, he, was, what was his intention of creating Abga? He wanted to become Nigeria's president. If he won the election, he would have become Nigeria's president. So what about Biafra? Becoming Nigeria's president, would it give you Biafra? Okay, do you think that when you become Nigeria's president, you can just say Biafra, go? Don't you know that there's separation of powers? Don't you know that the North has a stronghold? Don't you know that the president is impeachable? Even an Igbo president tends to be more impeachable than any other tribe. An Igbo person, imagine P2B was the president and he released Mazin Amdekanu against, against the support of the North and Southwest. He will be impeached. He will be impeached. His government, they will make sure his government is ungovernable because he's an Igbo man. So, Ojuku was thinking that if he becomes Nigeria's president, he's going to get Biafra through the back door or what is he saying? Or somebody is telling me that Bianca Ojuku uh, is a CIA asset like Biafra intelligence officer that is working in Trubu's government to gain, to get some information or know what they are planning. Is it, do you think that Tinubu and Ko, they are daft? You don't know who Tinubu is. It's like you don't know who Tinubu is. The guy is mad intelligent. He's a mad smart man. He's a the guy, that's why they call him Jagaban. If you think like a politician, you know that Tunubu is trying to put his stronghold in Anambra State and in the Southeast. He wants to get foot soldiers so that in the next election, win-win, 50-50, he's going to get votes from all the regions. The reason why he lost the last election, who was going to canvass for votes for him in the, in the Southeast? Was it Hope Zodima that was standing on one leg? Or is it Umahi that the people are against? So believe that if you have Bianco Juku in your cabinet, sympathy vote is going to come from the Southeast. When I say sympathy votes, I don't, I don't, I'm not talking about your votes as a Nigerian. Your vote does not count. Stakeholders, stakeholders that can push the votes, that can galvanize the votes, like what WK did in River State. Those kind of stakeholders, that is what Tinubu wants. And again, when you start talking about Biafra, they will tell you, look at your Biafra warlord. His wife is working for Tinubu, so what are you doing? They have given people something to, to spite the, the Biafra agitation. I just said that, talked about Philip F. Young. He stayed through to Biafra till he died. Never taking appointments from the Nigerian government. He was a true hero, Philip F. York. It's funny that nobody's remembering the family, 
Nobody's talking about debt. But see our brothers. The love of money has made them destroy their region, have made them work against their people. Look at the likes of Ukurocha, Hupo Zodima, and Umahe. All in APC. See, top politicians in the Southeast are in APC. Just count them, except Peter Obi. Top politicians in the Southeast are in APC. Or is that they are in bed with the APC? Your Wabara, the most politicians in Anambra State. Look at what Soludo has done. Soludo has disappointed his people, just like Obaseki disappointed the people. And APC might use um, Biaka Ojuku's influence with Ekunife and the other Anambra APC politicians to enter into Anambra State and register the presence of APC strongly, even if Abga wins the next election. They know that APC has a strong hold with Bianca Ojuku. You see what Wike is doing to River State after APC gave him an appointment. Working against the state, making sure that his, his state is ungovernable because of his greed. What does Bianca Ojuku want again in life? What kind of relevance is she looking for? What kind of position is she looking for? She was a senator. You are calling her Mama Biafra. What, what, what and what? What is she looking for? Well, let's see how, as things unfold, as things go on. Let's see whether she's going to speak for Biafra. She dare not speak against the sovereignty of Nigeria, supporting Nigeria. Look at what she said. She believes that Nigeria can work and she will support the government of Bola Metunubu. They are even saying that she's beautiful, using her beauty. Man, Biafra don't enter. The, the, the people are just rubbishing this agitation because of appointment. Because of appointment. I, 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 I want to know what importance hmm, this appointment will have for the average ego man and the Biafra agitation. Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, the one way Uma he gets, he never use them for, for good for Igbo people. Look at Amichi under Buhari. Most of the contracts, most of the roads and railways was done southwest, southeast, and south, south, and south, and north, not southwest. But Igbos, his people did not get so much from his ministerial appointment. And you think that a Bianca Ojuku would do what she's not told. She's just like a slave in Tunubu's government. She will do what she's told to do. She dare not speak about Biafra. She dare not defend anything Biafra. She dare not work against... Because if you are standing up for Biafra, you are working against the government. She dare not do that. Because if she does that, she's gone the next minute. So what's the essence? If not to just be relevant in Nigeria and just let her be doing one or two things. That she's going to Asso Rock. She, has, she, she wants to be in the seat of power and she wants to do this and that. So we Igbos, we are not moved by what she's doing. She's doing it and she's going to destroy her name and the name of her husband. Biafra is, we don't owe Biafra to anybody. Anybody. This is something that must be achieved, and God will use people to achieve it. So if God is going to use somebody to achieve it, and that person wants to take the glory and make us not move forward, no, it's not possible. It doesn't happen like that. If Ojuku, who set the foundation, that's why we have this book, There Was a Country, Biafra once existed in this terrain. It was as a result of the bravery, the braveness of Ojuku. We applaud him for that. After you started this journey, you started this foundation, and you are spitting at the agitation, should we fold our hands and look at you, destroying the agitation? Are you, there were egos before, Ojuku. James Biali talked about a Biafra nation before Ojuku. So Biafra has been existing for eons of years before anybody. So no one person culminates the love of Biafra. I know that many Igbos are angry. Why some are okay? It's okay. She can 
she's just like any other person she can uh, that, that we can still be in government and also do agitation you can still you can still work for Tunubu's government and also do ag agitation does the constitution support your agitation hmm? can you can you shoot yourself on the leg can you can you stab yourself and saying uh, yeah, yeah, you can be working for Tunubu and still you can bring up issues of Biafra which issues of Biafra you bring at the table? Stop deceiving yourselves. I said it before. The kind of egos we have today, I can't imagine. These are not true egos. These guys, they don't behave like real egos. They are just some of us that we are giving birth to in Lagos. Some of us that didn't grow up in a village. Our our orientation eh, is much more better than those that claim they were born in the village. And they were they are close to the culture. This the, 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 is that how you know what integrity means? Do you know what integrity means? What it takes to have integrity? You lose a lot of things to, to keep your integrity. For somebody that is working in an office whereby people are bent on stealing money, if you refuse to join them to steal, you will lose job opportunities, you will lose promotion, but you, you still have your integrity intact. So what sacrifice will she do to make sure that this Biafra agitation is respected? Other than you went on. You went, we are the senators, we are smiling. I just, I just looked at these people. It seems these people don't really, they're not serious about the agitation. Or was she forced to, 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 to join Ojuku and take up his name? She used the name to get the interest seat, get influence. At the end of the day, this is what she's going to pay uh, it goes back. See, just know that Tinubu's government is headed for failure. So when we talk about failure, you also you are going to be a failure. If Tinubu government fails, Bianca Ojuku has failed. And I just suggest that these people be given back seats when there is a reasonable, a reasonable uh, co complement, component of Biafra being put together. When Biafra gets its act together and there's a reasonable government, these people should be given the back seat. Nobody should come and gaslight anybody and say, we fought, we fought the war, we fought the war, you abandoned it and you are taking up appointments. What does that tell you? How does that speak about you? What will people say about your, your actions? You, 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 you just rubbish something you said in quotes, you built. Those men that died in the war, what would they be saying in their graves? Ojuku, what would he be? Those people that sacrificed their lives, families that lost most of their brilliant men, graduates in a family, they lost seven graduates. People that, who, God, who knows what they will have been today. They lost it in the world just for somebody who was just married because she's the most beautiful queen coming to accept. But whoever that is having that political calculation, of appointing Bianco Juku. Just watch. She so far becomes a personal non grata. So far, she is not showing respect after she has occupied that high level in this Biafra agitation. She has become a personal non grata. No Biafra man, no Biafra woman, even no Biafra land. The whole Biafra lands in the southern Nigeria is in support of Ojuku's wife appointment. Why? I'm saying this. The juicy posts are there for Tinubu's brothers, his kinsmen, and his tribesmen. And he has not given any to the Ibos. Ojuku's wife position is... Or the minister of work is for what? Work. Work, work, work. All work, no play. And no play. Make Jack a dog ball. Work. He is working now is because of his previous administration's achievement in a point state. Omae outsmarted every, any other governor in Nigeria, even Lagos State Governor. Go to Boy State and see his achievement. That's why I think is the right person that is fitted in that job, Ministry of Work. So that one apart. We are about to discuss Ojuku's wife's appointment. An appointment that is like Ne Jida, Enebunamnaya. Take, stop looking at me or giraffing at me. That is more or less of the kind of job this current administration, administration has given to Ojuku's widow. And what? It is an abomination. It is what? A slap. 
on Apoga. Why should you have appointed that woman and she's the leader of Apoga? Apoga is that Michael Megu Ojuku's party. I don't know what I understand. Could be that Franca Bianca Ojuku is from Southwest. The people of Southwest won't be very happy if an Igbo man gives Ifobi is the owner or in charge of this administration and having given an a Yoruba woman in the position of Bianca Ojuku, Yorubas will never be happy. So that kind of appointment to Bianca is a disgrace to Igbo race, a disgrace to Ojuku. Ojuku is not happy where he is now. Ojuku is turning and turning inside his grave against Bianca's appointment. What I say? Ogawi Igbos are no fool. That position is an insult to Apuga. Apuga is Ojuku's party. Apuga is Anambra party. Apuga is my party. Apuga is Biafran party. Oga, Nanikanu is suffering in jail. Bianca is accepting appointment from this kind of illegitimate administration. I beg. I, I don't like that kind of position at all. She should have rejected it. She should have, she should have rejected it. Denounce it. Not only rejection. Denouncement. Renounce such appointment. What do you mean? Uh, are, we, are we beggars? We are not beggars. That is an Akara appointment. Eh? Giving a whole Ojuku's widow Akara. It is highly, in fact, reject, rejectable. We, we don't allow that kind of appointment. We don't allow that kind of, you know, insult. It is too insulting in Igbo land to look down on a widow. A widow of Chukwameka and Ojuku. I think Bianca, I don't know if I have never listened to her, even during this screening, you know, ministerial screening in the house or at Asso Rock. I would have at least likened them to at least to show it live so that I, I will listen to Bianca and speak. She believes Nigeria can work and uh, she will support Tribu's government. That's what she said. And after supporting Tribu's government from there, in Abuja, she will go to Tinubu because it won't come back to Ibo land. Even if she comes to Ibo land, nobody, nothing will happen. But I'm telling you that in Nine, Ojuku's people, they are not in support of this kind of insulting appointment. It's very, very insulting if there's any word like that. Oneza is my not speak against it. They are the elders. Oneza are the cultural uh, group of the Igbo nation. It's a platform that has been uniting the Igbos. Igbo Delta, Igbo Benue Kogi and so on and so forth for a very long time now even before the war so that appointment to juku's widow widow is an insult they have been subjugating Igbo to this kind of you know a uh, 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 chain over the years and uh, tinubu is not left out because i, I know tinubu tinubu is not even uh, happy with us so an illegitimate administration of this nature if you give somebody like ojuku's wife that kind of position you are like just spanking on the Igbos. And let me tell you, Ojuku's wife or widow's acceptance of that kind of position is an anti-party activities against Apuga. I'm telling you. Anti-party activity. This regime is for Labour Party. It is not a PC regime. They stole it. They rig it. They grab it. They kick people. They fought people and grab it by force. It is obese administration. Bianco no should go and sit down.